Today we're cooking grilled buffalo wings on the Golden's cast iron cooker. Stick around, I'm gonna show you how we do it. The first thing that we wanna to do to get started on our grilled buffalo wings is honestly make sure that they're all separated, any extra fat trimmed off the drummies because a lot of times the drummies has a little bit of extra stringy fat hanging on. I take my scissors and kind of trim that up. So all I wanna do now, now that I've got my three pounds of chicken wings in the bowl here, is take a little bit of duck fat spray, spray it around, and coat it very well with that duck fat spray. All right, now that we've got it coated around with that, I'm gonna take a good base layer of my garlic jalapeno rub. Get that on there. Now I'm gonna kinda just shift that around here with these tongs here instead of getting my hands all in the chicken. Don't wanna get no cross contamination. Now that we've got a little bit of that on there, we're gonna come back with our chicken rub. Now remember our chicken rub's got a lot of ground down herbs in it. It's great on other things besides chicken as well. It's great on pork, fish, chicken, seafood, anything like that. Now, get that stirred around, get them coated good. Of course, I'm gonna throw a little more seasoning on them. All right, now I'm gonna keep throwing a little bit more chicken rub on here and get this tossed around. Now, I'm gonna try to toss them around. Now that we've got our wings seasoned up, I'm gonna keep it really simple, really easy. We've got our Golden's cast iron grill fired up with some roll oak lump charcoal and some tumbleweeds. And now all that we wanna do, we got a two zone fire built, is get these wings over the cool side and let them start smoking. All right, you can see we've got our Golden's cast iron dialed up to 350 here. Now we've got a hot zone and we've got a cool zone. We've got the heat deflector in. I am gonna take a little bit of duck fat spray, spray that grill. Now, I'm gonna dump our chicken wings out on the cool side and get them spread out. Now that we've got our wings arranged on here, you can see that I lined the drummies up here more toward the fire to save the flats here. The reason that is, I think those drummies need to render a little bit more. They've got a little bit thicker meat on them. I'm gonna take a little bit more of my chicken rub here and just barely just come back across with these, make sure these have a good little coat of spice on them. Now we wanna get that grill lid shut, let it go for about 20, 25 minutes, and we'll check them and probably flip them. All right, we're 20 minutes into our grilled buffalo wings cooking. And I'm gonna get this grill lid raised. You see we've got a skillet in here. Well, I've got a half a stick of butter. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it down. I threw that skillet on about 10 minutes ago. Now, I'm gonna take and check my wings here. Yep, they're coming right along right where they need to be. Now I'm gonna throw in and throw in a good hepping tablespoon of minced garlic. And I cheated today and honestly got some out of a jar. I wanna get that going and get it minced down pretty good. Get it fried up. Now, we're gonna use some of my favorite hot sauce, Killer Hogs hot sauce. You can put as much or as little as you like. I'm gonna put about a half a cup in here. Maybe three quarters. Now, once you get your butter melt and your hot sauce and your garlic come to just a little bit, I'm gonna take and add about a quarter cup of brown sugar to this. I like to knock just a little bit of that heat off, and I honestly love what the brown sugar does mixed with the hot sauce and butter. It's just an old school recipe that I've used for years, and adding the garlic is really simple and really easy. Now, I'm gonna just let this be, and I'm gonna take my tool here and kind of run that back where it's not over that direct flame, and I'm gonna let that simmer for about another 10 minutes, and we'll check these wings. All right, we've been about 45 minutes on our sauce here. You can see that it's bubbling, kind of simmered down with that garlic in it. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna let this reduce down slowly. 
and keep watching it, keep an eye on it. And I'm gonna add that brown sugar to the last minute. But I wanna go in here and look at these wings here and kind of turn them over. You can see they're starting to get where they need to be on the bottom. All right, now that we've got all of our wings flipped over, we're gonna let this grill lid shut and get it going for another five minutes. All right, our buffalo sauce has reduced down enough. It's sticking up, it's got a little darker with that garlic. I'm gonna throw in that quarter cup of brown sugar, get it stirred in. You see how it turns the hot sauce just a little bit dark here, but you just wanna throw that in there and let it get melted in good. And then we're gonna take and pull this off, let it cool a minute, move our wings over the direct fire and start charring them up. I'm gonna take and pull this off and set it right here real quick and let it cool down. Now, I'm gonna get my wings over the direct fire, start ready to char them up. Now, once I get all those wings over the fire, I'm gonna go ahead and throw my sauce back on over here so it can stay warm. I'm gonna let this grill lid shut for about three to four minutes and check them. You can see they come around really fast, getting some color on them. We've been about three minutes here. You don't take long. Go ahead and get them all turned over. And keep going. All right, guys, we've had a total cook time between 35 and 40 minutes. Remember, we started off on the cool zone, moved them over. They've got the absolute color that I like on my wings. If you like yours a little more darker, a little less lighter, it's completely up to you. Just make sure they're hitting 100 and at least 65 degrees. These wings here, let's check them with our Thermapin 1, and I can tell you, going in that wing, we're hitting about 190 degrees, and that's the way I like my wings there. That one's hitting 200, 198. I know that I'm perfect. I push almost to 200 on my wings so you can get that awesome, correct wing that we're all looking for. Now, let's get them taken up. All right, guys, my chicken wings are off the grill. Now, just to recap, we seasoned our wings with some garlic jalapeno rub after we sprayed them in duck fat spray, and then we seasoned them with a little bit of chicken rub. We threw our party wings on our Golden's cast iron grill. We run the grill between 325 and 350 degrees over Royal Oak Lump Charcoal. We started off on a cool zone for about 20 minutes, started our hot sauce mixture here with our Killer Hogs hot sauce, some garlic, some brown sugar, and some butter. And now it's only one thing left to do and that's toss these wings up. Let's pour it over. Now that we've got our wing sauce stirred on, you can see that I've just sliced these wings around here and they are looking great. Now, let's get them poured out on a dish here and get ready to eat. All right, guys, our wings have off the grill. We've tossed them in our Killer Hogs hot sauce, butter and brown sugar mixture with a little bit of minced garlic. We reduced that down. We threw it on our wings that had our chicken seasoning and garlic jalapeno on them. You know cooked over that Royal Oak charcoal, it's gonna have a good kiss of smoke, what we're looking for. We try to keep these wings as simple as we could. So the last thing to do is get in here and try this thing. So let's try it. So I love a good charred wing. Of course, I'm gonna have to make that umbrella there. And I'm going for the blue cheese. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> That's got the right amount of spice, the right amount of back-end heat, that kiss of buffalo flavor, that hint of garlic that we're looking for. That little bit of brown sugar cools down the hotness and the tartness from the acidity a little bit out of that hot sauce and makes these wings absolutely delicious. Remember, if you like what we're doing on our channel, be sure to like, subscribe, follow along with your friends. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, and now Pinterest. I'll see you next week for another video.